Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. In this video we're going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of October in the areas of love and relationship. As usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. We're going to start with your Wisdom of the Oracle card and the card that has a message for you is 34 a leg up. Uh, so as you can see, the little bear is uh, climbing on the mother and this card is all about receiving help, delegating authority and interdependence. Uh, so practically what this card is telling you that you are you came to a point where um, you shouldn't uh, continue uh, going alone, meaning that you need to take into consideration uh, any kind of help that uh, is presenting for you because you know life is not just all, all alone and 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 uh, and uh, friends and uh, our partners are very important and, and an interdependence is is can be healthy as well but let's see what the tarot is telling us in the center of your reading you do have the five of pentacles the five of pentacles which is the card of feeling alone feeling left out in the cold feeling lack not feeling enough but this is also a card that's calling your attention to help because uh, that key is indicating that from from this situation that you're in you can get out there's help for you in a traditional uh, right away it kind of has this uh, card where uh, the beggars are right in front of a church indicating that help is available so i think that help is definitely an important message but this card can be also like you know some of you are feeling alone some of you have been single for a while maybe you went through some kind of a breakup as well and and again if if you're kind of feeling down you're feeling not enough very important to take, take into consideration uh, who can help you in that but again even in, in a in an existing relationship this card can indicate that you're feeling alone within the relationship or your partner is going through some financial difficulties and probably even in that situation consider who can help you but the five of pentacles is all about self-sabotage as well when you don't when you don't trust in your abilities when you're feeling that you are you're not enough uh, you're kind of focusing on the things that you don't have, uh, whatever you want, as opposed to focusing on all the great things that are in your life and being grateful for it. Because that um, being grateful is very key of receiving as well. Uh, so if you're grateful for all the little things that, that are good in your life and, and you're not focusing what you don't have, you're actually uh, able to attract more of it so very important for you to think about it how can you be grateful for little things for things like that you breathe for things like that you have a house or, or whatever you're grateful for friends etc etc um the first card in your reading is the queen of swords this is a court card can be a person your energy or just the general energy of the card she is somebody who went through a lot in her life she went through a lot of difficulties, disappointment, breakups, divorce. Uh, she is called the Divorce Queen. Um, and she became stronger and she became wiser through all of those experiences. Uh, and, and she's very smart, she's very wise, she speaks her mind. And, and also she is protecting herself from all of those disappointments. But this is also a card of clarity. Clarity might be important for some of you, especially with that light kind of shining down as well. But also looking into the future. I kind of want to call your attention how she's proud of herself for all of her accomplishment and looks into the future uh, with that gaze versus feeling down. So try to kind of look into the future with all that positivity that the Queen of uh, Swords has. The next card in your reading is the Ace of Cups, which is the card of love, a uh, card of self-love, joy, happiness. Um, when when love comes into your life, this is a chapter that indicates um, a very loving new beginning or a chapter where love returns to you um, and happiness returns to you because this is the card when happiness 
being comes to your life that you're just so happy that you don't know whether you should laugh or cry from the joy might be an indication of children a new relationship or a happy times in an existing relationship but again self-love as well it's very important aspect of the ace of cups especially uh, with this five of pentacles energy when some of you might be feeling that you're not enough so love yourself the next card in your reading is the tower indicating that you went through a difficult uh, sudden change in your life when your world collapsed right in front of your eyes uh, whatever you built up this can be a relationship uh, this can be a, rec a, a, a recognizing something um, what's really important here that it came into your life suddenly uh, if you're single this might be an experience that um, might help you to recognize why you are still single um, and helps you to actually make changes to it uh, if you're in an existing relationship can be a, can be can uh, be connected to a breakup a divorce that some of you uh, might have gone through or going through as well but not always uh, the tower is all about uh, that the structures whatever we build up uh, the reality is is changing and and you have to kind of change but this is happening for you because the universe is stepping in when the tower comes into our life because maybe you didn't make a decision or you stayed in a situation uh, longer than you should have but you also have here the ten of cups which is um, indicating an end of a cycle end of a difficult cycle and a happy cycle coming into your life after the difficulties the storm the sunshine is coming back with all the rainbows and beautiful things in your life brings harmony joy this perfect happiness and, and bliss as well so i think happiness is there for you you just need to make sure that you get out of this mindset of not being enough and you also have here the six of wands which is the card of success celebration uh victory and being in the center of attention uh, so i think whenever this card comes up i think you are able to achieve whatever you want but you need to be confident you need to trust yourself because you know you're kind of in the center of attention so i think people want to uh, get to know you but let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading but before that please don't forget to like share and subscribe that's an indication that the reading helped you and you can also help me to grow this channel to make sure that the message gets out to those who need it the most for you it is only costing a push of a button so i hope that you already pushed to those like and subscribe uh, buttons only a very few percent end up subscribing so i hope you're going to be one of them and i'm always very excited to read in the comment how this reading is resonating with you uh, so your reading continues with the seven of cups so seven of cups is the card of choices and the card of confusion when you're kind of not seeing things clearly you have hard time making a decision because you just don't know what's going to be at the end of it like uh, will it be will it turn out to be good or will it turn out to be something uh, bad but this is also a card when you when some of you are very dreamy you are kind of dreaming about um, what your future could be and you're not necessarily realistic it's also connected to manifestation in a sense that that's um the universe uh, wants to bring you something bring you this ha perfect happiness but you're kind of confusing it because you're you are one day you want something and the next day you want something totally different one day you're like oh my god i want to be in this perfect relationship would be so good and then the next day i was like oh no no i'm happy alone so that's when the seven of cups comes up but again it might be that you have choices in a sense because you know six of wands indicates that you are in the center of attention indicating that a lot of people are interested in you and you might be just hard time making a decision and you also have here the justice card the justice is the card of balance harmony so definitely pay attention to what part of your life need to be balanced and bring it into harmony uh, justice is also about being fair and just with yourself and with people around you uh, can be connected to a decision a major life-changing decision but it is also 
uh, can be connected to a legal process that you might be going through. So, for example, if you're going through a breakup, a divorce, the justice is indicating that there's some kind of a decision here uh, where everybody is getting whatever they deserve. And the next card is the Ten of Wands indicating that a difficult cycle is ending for you, right? You have two tens indicating that the cycle is ending, but it's kind of ending with a heavy ending and also kind of happily. Very interesting, this balance where you kind of like something that, that's very difficult, but also happy. Maybe you're just kind of uh, finalizing the divorce and you're like, hey, I'm out, but it's still kind of challenging. Ten of Wands can be also connected to that uh, you are moving, you're kind of packing your um, bags and, and you're, you're moving on, uh, but can be also connected to that you're you're carrying a lot of baggage, a lot of a um, lot of emotional burden as well, especially with this Five of Pentacles and the definitely connected to the Queen of Swords who went through a lot of difficulties and a lot of challenges, and it's very important to release those and be open for new happiness and accept help. And you also have here at the bottom of the deck the High Priestess, uh, which is also calling attention to balance, harmony, uh, can be connected to listening to your inner voice, intuition, but also unlimited potential, indicating that uh, some of you might be very attractive and you might have a lot of suitors and, and no wonder that you have a hard time uh, to choose. But definitely connect uh, to uh, your inner voice and, and accept help because help is available for you. That's what the cards are uh, telling you, whether it's, it is a help to continue your road with somebody or just general help. And, and also uh, focus on yourself, that you love yourself and you appreciate yourself and you are also grateful. So put in a comment, I am grateful for everything that I have and I'm open for happiness. I hope that this reading helped you and I'll be able to welcome you again.